all of the problems, like the historic problems of liberalism and neoliberalism in the United States. These are, and it's not like I'm, I'm essentially, I'm essentially uh, saying, uh, like, I'm, I'm making it seem like it's a very serious academic thing. It's not. It's written by hilarious and very intelligent dudes, and, um, and you would, you guys would love it. Everyone, I highly recommend it. Um, even though Felix still has not had me on the Chapo show, it's all good. And also, he's more Jack than I am now, which I don't fucking like either. That son of a bitch. Um, but, but yeah. Uh, beyond that, I'm still gonna promote their book because they're they're fucking great. They are they're they're really funny. They're really great. Um, I don't care that people are like, oh my god, they're brochalist. Like they're good as hell. They do a really good job of. Um, Hassan just messaged Virgil about going on the show. <laughs> no, fuck that. They, they, I would never. I'm not gonna ask them to go on the show. Um. Uh, come town is good. Don't recommend it for a lot of the people here. Hassan bin turned into a beta. Don't recommend come town for the people. It's not for everybody. It's not everyone's cup of tea. I call it, um, it's uh, I call it gay fight club for straight dudes or gay fight club for, yeah, straight dudes. Yeah. I would say basically that do not, do not listen to come town. If it, if you don't, I guess, do not listen to Come Town unless you want to hear every slur possible. Come Town is your cup of tea if you like being gay with your dad. Absolutely. He said that he would potentially put him on hormone blockers. I just kept retweeting, like, are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing the madness? And the silence I got from all my shiny blue check mark friends today, and apparently I'm also uh, modeling. Uh, men's warehouse discount suits, <laughs> but it's great to be here, and we have a very, very, very special third chair. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Owen. I'm just uh, happy to be here uh, and get some t-shirts. Today we're going to talk about. So Owen Benjamin is a total shithead. Just for those of you who don't know, he's an unfunny comic who like also bought into the reactionary grift. Um, I think probably because he had like those dipshit opinions to begin with. And then beyond that, he like wanted to capitalize on it. He's also super obsessed. The irony here, okay? The inherent irony here of Owen Benjamin talking about the top five ways leftists sexualize children is the fact that Owen Benjamin literally got fucking kicked off of Twitter for talking about David Hogg's penis, dude. Like about uh, like it's just it's incredible to me the projection uh the 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 fact that like you know 400,000 people have watched this and only 531 people have disliked it the irony that a man who was kicked off of twitter for talking about david's fucking hog when he was 17 goddamn years old a school shooter uh, like a, a a a victim of i guess school shooting or uh like months, not even a month after uh, David Hogg and, and a bunch of other uh, kids, the Parkland kids were like uh, a part of a school shooting. Owen Benjamin was talking about David Hogg's penis. Okay, left to sexualize Ben Shapiro's tits. He's the size of a kid. Think about the humanities. Yeah, exactly. I did that too. Ben Shapiro, Ben Shapiro, get at me, dog. I sent that to a couple uh, girls, uh, like a couple girlfriends of mine, and they were like, Ben Shapiro has better tits than I do. That's what I got to say to Ben Shapiro. Anyway, let's get back to the video. The top five ways leftists sexualize kids. Yeah. Question of the day. Why do you think the left is pushing sex on kids at such young ages? Have you spent any time? This is like really weird. What? what? Who is doing this? <laughs> like, who is doing this man who got banned off of Twitter for talking about David's hog? Considering their motives and the implications of their actions. Please comment. We want to know because... We don't really know, and we want to stop these people. Um, in many areas of our culture and society, the left cannot wait to sexualize children. For being so offended by everything, they're hungry to do one of the worst possible things you can do. I love this, dude. I love this, dude. These are, remember, guys, remember, remember, we are, the, the, these guys are the fucking facts over feelings guys, okay? These are the fucking reels over feels, homies. Um, just, just throwing out insane statements like, we want to know why the left wants to fuck children. 
Uh, seems every day there's another story about the left pushing sex on our kids. We're going to limit this to just five. There's an insane <laughs> amount of examples, but we got to keep There are too many, dude. There are too many examples. Also, we brought in a pedophile looking dude to, to make sure. So now we have one guy who literally got banned off of Twitter and another guy who could be on a, a on <laughs> another guy who looks like he was on a watch list at some point <laughs> for diddling children. Five. Otherwise, I will become enraged and blow my brains out. Yeah. Well, there's a gun on your desk, and so let's not do that, right? No. Yeah. That's why we're gonna <laughs> keep it at five. Yeah, we're five. Five. Who are these fucking people, dude? It's not loaded. I yeah. We tried six earlier in a run through, and it got carried. So. Yeah. You know. Yeah. If there was a seven plus one, I was yes. out. <laughs> All right. Definitely not infinite. This is disturbing. I'm just gonna be straight up, and this is real. This is really happening. So I'm glad that we get to just just know this is real. Uh, number five, guys. This is real. I cannot state this enough. Okay. I cannot state this enough guys this is a real thing that we're talking about <laughs> that's that's usually how you start off an argument when you're about to talk about real things where you're like guys i cannot stress this element enough okay this is a very real thing that we're talking about let's let's continue please number five owen is a uh, weird sex ed uh, we know there are some weird sex ed programs in public schools. In Canada, they're pushing sex ed that teaches homosexuality in grade three. What? <sighs> three. Grade th wow, dude. How fucking dare they? That's disgusting, you guys. Like, I can't believe that... The <laughs> I can't believe that they're teaching sex ed to children and that sex ed also includes homosexuality, which is a thing that is real, that it already ha is happening. I cannot believe that homosexual people exist in the vicinity of of third graders holy shit dude like what is what? <laughs> no jesus christ this is so silly dude yes because everybody knows because everybody knows sex ed is basically uh you know, is basically having sex with the children. That's what that is. Three, masturbation in grade six. Oh my gosh. That, that's in, in public school, oral mm -hmm. and anal sex uh, in grade seven. Okay. I just, I, I, I'm confused. Like, are these things that don't exist? Like, are these things that don't happen? This is a normal part of, of sex ed, right? I don't know. I didn't go to a school. I didn't. I didn't uh, uh, have any sex ed because I grew up in Turkey. We don't have sex ed. We probably should. It would be really great um, if we did. But uh, I, I'm I'm confused as to why this is like uh, I'm confused as to why this is a big problem. What is Damage Cortex saying? Don't show this clip on stream. Wait, why? You're the one who fucking sent it to me. Wait, I'm confused. Is this a violation of terms of service or something? Damage Cortex, answer my question, dog. Wait, you're the one who sent this to me. I don't think this is a TOS violation. This is totally fine. You gotta be kidding me. No, this is real. As well as teaching, there are six- You gotta be kidding me. They're teaching children how to do sex. That doesn't mean, like, you understand that. The, okay, let me ask you guys something, okay? Let me ask you guys something. Do you think when you learn history, for example, do you think when like when you're in like sixth grade or whatever and you learn about Genghis Khan, are you teaching children that it's OK to fucking go out and like murder people? Is that what like is this what these people genuinely think it's like? This is like saying, oh, my God, there's a chemistry class. They're teaching children how to build bombs, like teaching someone that sexual intercourse exists and it's like healthy and whatever is entirely different than being like, hey, guys. You guys should go out and fuck right now. Actually, we're going to fuck you guys instead. Like, why would you Why would you draw that? Why would you draw that comparison? What is going on in your mind? Genders rather than two uh, biological sexes. These teachers are the authority figures yeah. that your children are with all day, every day. Yeah. They look to these people for I'm guidance. Like, yeah, and the state wait, man is teaching there are six hold genders. On, hold on, uh, Oh, now they're teaching six genders. Rather than two uh, biological sexes. These teachers are the... How dare they, dude? How fucking dare they, dude? Like, what do these people think? Do these people think that, like, um, teachers have this, like, liberal agenda? Do you genuinely... I, I, this is something that's shocking to me. Like, the, the idea, the notion that, like, 
uh, like regular common core curriculum or actually like just any any sort of like curriculum would have false information as far as biology goes towards the left is shocking to me but not so shocking when I think about the projection being applied here because if you go to like a religious school there are fucking literal there are there are actual schools um, there are actual uh, religious schools that teach creationism do you see what I'm saying so like of course this is projection the authority figures yeah. that your children are with all day, every day. Yeah. They look to these people for I'm guidance. Like, yeah, and the state mandates that we pay them to confuse and traumatize our children. Insane. Can't believe it, dude. Can't believe te can't believe um, by by sixth grade they're teaching children where to purchase anal beads, dude. Shocker. This is real, guys. Hey, by the way, this is real. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, oh, God. Like, the whole purpose of sex ed is literally so uh, these children aren't traumatized by their, their – and, like, learn these sort of things the wrong way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but regardless, let's keep going. But this may be the most bizarre taxpayer-funded sex education show ever. The peculiar and confusing act that uh, – just, just play the clip. Just watch it for yourself. Okay. Oh, oh, I've seen this before. This is the, uh, uh, what do you call it? This is the fucking, um, I did this. Is oh my God. All right, I don't know if this is a violation of terms of service, so we're just going to pass by it. There's kids oh around there. Oh my gosh. It's like Jim Henson meets Rosemary's Baby. <laughs> And, and you see this this oh my this, gosh. this puppet woman get birth and be beaten to death by a brick and uh, but everything uh, was made a lot more sense when it was revealed that the puppet did have information that would lead to the arrest of one Hillary Rodham Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> and something else weird happened. I'm shocked. Like, is this is this, is Owen Benjamin making the assertion that okay is he saying that this happens in every school? Like every school has. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Every school has this like ma uh, massive uh, blow up doll looking thing that is like, yeah, that is uh, that is all around. Yeah, that's that's like there is this blow up doll that's going around Canada and even maybe going around America, apparently giving birth to giant blow up babies. And, and and it's happening all around us. You might not have heard of this, but luckily Luckily, we're here watching real news on the Steven Crowder show. So I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we're like finding out that this is actually what's happening. Uh, a Planned Parenthood puppet uh, then just appeared quickly and, and beat the baby with a brick. Yeah, well, you, you got to have the treatment there. They put on this nightmare inspiring. Ah, hell yeah, dude. Of course, as you know, the common practice that Planned Parenthood uh, does when they when they kill babies, like they literally they wait outside. They have like Planned Parenthood Antifa soldiers. They who wait outside of like uh, of, of fucking not clinics, but like wherever babies are being delivered inside outside of hospitals and then they kill them. Got it, dude. Thank God Owen Benjamin's out here fighting for your fucking rights, dude. They're fighting for the rights of conservative babies to be born. Exhibit. Uh, the name of this is Snuff Puppets. <laughs> a snuff film is when you kill someone on camera. A oh. snuff puppet is when you kill a child's innocent. I love that. Like these guys have such a fucking short fuse for what what when it comes to like artistic interpretation or like some weird shit that some artist did one time that like no one fucking uh, knows or even remembers at this point. They will beat that to death mercilessly. But Owen Benjamin also is so careless and so liberal when it comes to him using slur words, specifically the N-word, with a hard R. I'm not going to play that clip because that is certainly a violation of terms of service. But just go look that up. That N-word stole my bike is the classic, classic song that Owen Benjamin loves to fucking use on his, uh, on his show where he like plays a piano and, and literally says that over and over and over again. But no, of course, like, you know, that's not shocking. That's not jarring. That, that, that has no damaging elements. Uh, but it's, uh, it's some fucking random art installation that, like, 14 people saw. That's the real issue here. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> they call it snuff puppets. Oh, my gosh. These guys. What does snuff puppets have to do with sex ed? Like, can we? All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's a school, guys. It's a school for puppetry. Oh, no. 
Turns out, just because it's an Australian puppet theater company that was founded in 1992, um, that, that means that it has the word school in it. So obviously, it's a fucking school. It's at every school. That's what that means. <laughs> They've toured 25 countries. Like, by the way, how do you intend on restricting this, Owen Benjamin? Like, this is when this is when they become, like, the most commies, okay? This is when these motherfuckers absolutely turn into, like, like real fucking anarch- Not anarcho-commies, but, like, real fucking Stalinists when they're like, I want to throw the puppet master in a gulag because I don't agree with this perspective. It's like, what? I thought you wanted freedom of speech, dog. And now you want to fucking limit art? Like, now you want to limit artistic interpretation because you're, you know, because you, you don't agree with it? Okay, cool, man. Cool. But, like, then to, to turn around and, and act as though this is, like, educational in any way and that is happening in schools all around the country. Very cool. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much for all of the misinformation. It suck. The lesson also included the now dead mother spraying the children with simulated breast milk. I didn't realize when they say Australia is down under, they mean it's literally in hell. <laughs> all right, number four, accepting... Dude, being a conservative comedian is honestly admirable, though, because, like, that's the range, dog. Everything has to go back to, like, you're going to hell. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, like, that's his punchline every single time. He has to be like, ha ha, liberals, am I right? <laughs> Are you triggered, liberal? Like, I love that they claim that the left can't meme, but they're, but the right can't fucking comedy, dude. There is not a single fucking right-wing comedian. Like, there's not a single fucking funny right-wing comedian in existence. I, I mean, Owen Benjamin is a perfect representation of this. There's also, uh, I mean, obviously Steven Crowder, who I have a hard time even calling a comic, is another perfect example of this. Like, these guys are so fucking, uh, just so bad. Dave Rubin. Dave fucking Rubin. Supposedly now a, a right-wing comedian. I don't understand. Like, I, I think, I think... Comedy is comedy does uh, tend to be offensive, right? Like it's understandable. I am not in the fucking Hannah Gadsby, uh, you know, uh, school of thought. Okay, like I'm not. I'm not in the Hannah Gadsby uh, school of thought at all. I don't think that like we should be. Uh, we should be stopping comedy altogether or whatever. Joe Rogan's not a fucking right wing comedian, dude. Look at Joe Rogan's comedy. What does that have to? If Joe Joe Rogan is never making comedy from a fucking right winger's perspective, Joe Rogan just keeps on platforming shithead right wingers. Because he's a shithead. <laughs> I guess Norm Macdonald is kind of a right-wing comedian, but I don't like him uh, anyway. Like, uh, I, and uh, yeah, you're right. I guess Norm Macdonald would be considered a right-wing comedian. Yeah, Tim Allen, exactly. These are perfect examples, dude. Tim Allen. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's really weird. <laughs> Roseanne, yeah, Roseanne, exactly. Pedophile celebrities. When uh -oh. it mm. Yeah, <laughs> when it comes to celebrities, leftists have a long history of ignoring pedophilia. Yeah. Here is a room full of lefties cheering convicted child rapist Roman Polanski, followed by Whoopi Goldberg defending him. Wait. <laughs> I hate Bill Maher. <laughs> <laughs> A room full of lefties, dude. Goes for Roman Polanski. For the penis. <laughs> oh, buddy. Every single person. Anthony Bourdain criticized Hillary. Every single person. Oh, this is my favorite ad, you guys. Here on the show, and I assume you guys agree with me. There's, I have no problems with Hillary Clinton whatsoever. Anthony Bourdain criticized Hillary Clinton. This is a CRTV ad where, like, Gavin McGinnis literally fucking claims that Hillary Clinton may or may not have killed Anthony Bourdain, just like Hillary Clinton may or may not have killed Seth Rich. Holy shit, dude. Whatsoever. I think she's a wonderful woman, and I will never commit suicide. Soul. If you see me committing suicide, uh, something's gone wrong. <laughs> And I'm not criticizing her. They're all laughing, like, at Anthony Bourdain dying, I mean, committing suicide. Holy in fuck. In any way, shape, or form, I'd like to go on the record saying that she's an absolute angel. 
And you don't have any information on her? I have zero information on her, and I will never kill myself. I'm happily married. I'm having a fine life. And if you see me hanging from something, please inquire. <laughs> exactly. And then claims that, like, Hillary Clinton's going to kill him, too. Dude, you what? These people are so psychotic. Oh, okay. So here's what I was going to say. Yeah, do people in Hollywood suck? Yes, they absolutely do. Did you got were you guys not here when fucking Me Too happened? Like they're all horrible, dude. A lot of those people in Hollywood are horrific monsters, okay? And they all they give a shit about is the fact that Roman Polanski made a brilliant movie. And if you don't like the pianist, that, if you like the pianist, that doesn't make you a, a a supporter of pedophilia, okay? It was a great movie. He's a pedophile. Those two those two things are are mutually mutually exclusive. They should not have fucking given him an Oscar. Holy fuck. But Hollywood should absolutely stop propping up horrific monsters and not just kind of like brushing past them. Like Brian Singer, for example. Another another insane situation here. But, uh, you know. That was an obvious joke, son. They don't think they'll get killed. No, that, that part is the joke. The insinuation that, like, uh, Anthony Bourdain was killed by Hillary Clinton is the, is the fucking insane part. Love that though. Love that you get to. Love that you get to uh, to do that, Gavin McGinnis, on a on this like professional platform, CRTV. God, conservatives have too much money. Holy fuck. I know it wasn't rape. Right. Yeah, there was a, a I, I, child molest. Maybe I'm I not sure it was, it was something. Else. It was something else, but I don't believe it was rape. Rape. <laughs> rape, rape. Polanski rape rape. rape, rape. <laughs> a past. I love this, dude. I love this. Okay, where's due process when it comes to Polanski? Oh, never mind. It's gone. Also, by the way, he did. He, he fucking statutory raped someone. It's terrible. Fuck Roman Polanski. And fuck all the people that were excited for Roman Polanski. Fuck all the people that are still working with Woody Allen. There you go, guys. There you go. It was that easy. And a lot of people would agree with me. A lot of people don't give a fuck because they don't look at this from a stupid partisan perspective. No one, no American is no American is like looking at Hollywood celebrities supporting someone like this and going, oh, well, I guess, you know, I guess there's nothing I can say because these people who present themselves as liberals are are in support of a person who uh, committed statutory rape. So I guess I have to also now be in support of that. Like, Stout and drug... Let's see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm a little familiar with the Roman Polanski situation, but let's see what Whoopi, uh, Whoopi Goldberg had to say. Okay, like Whoopi Goldberg, Roman Polanski statement. Okay, and I'm sure like the only things that are gonna come up are like. Yeah, even back in 2009, Whoopi on Roman Polanski wasn't rape rape. This morning on The View, the ladies took it upon themselves to untangle the Roman Polanski affair because that's their job. In the process, we learn about Whoopi's strange and fascinating moral universe, which includes the concept of rape rape. First, there probably aren't two people out there who have studied this case and, ex and agree exactly on what should happen to Roman Polanski. So let's get that out of the way. Because another part of the problem with the Roman Polanski incident is because uh, it's like far beyond st – um, it's far beyond um, – uh, statute of limitations at this point uh, i think in certain states because of the catholic church and how they fucking consistently molest children um they have changed those laws luckily um so roman polanski could still be in um um uh, still could be tried in 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 um in in some of the states but i mean it, it just depends on where the crime was committed and i believe the crime was committed in california so he still wouldn't be able to try oh damn sorry Someone just sent me um, a, a video of mine uh, that a friend put up on Facebook. Okay, first, there probably aren't two people, blah, 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 blah. Um, there are certainly gray areas to be found here, even if they're only concerning a biased judge. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, the, the judge was biased or whatever. Still, fuck Roman Polanski. Uh, but Whoopi Goldberg, in a condescending rant, ostensibly about clarifying exactly what Roman Polanski was charged with, as if that matters, when nobody's denying that he drugged and had sex with a child, <laughs> can't seem to find them. She seems obsessed with the actual charges to which Polanski pleaded guilty. Polanski pleaded guilty to having sex with a child, okay? Like, that's all you, that's it, dude. That's, you fucking, that's all you need to know, Hollywood. 
that's literally just ended after that. You know what I mean? Cut all ties, guys. It doesn't matter how fucking great his, his mazansan is, like as Sam Cedar would say. Uh, ironically, I don't know if you guys remember that. Sam Cedar was uh, doxxed by fucking Mike Cernovich for making a really funny Roman Polanski joke where he said, if I have a daughter, I would rather have her. I'm not going to repeat it. Never mind. Uh, he got doxxed and MSNBC promptly fired him and then rehired him after uh, realizing that it was completely taken out of context. Um, anyway, yeah. Oh, yeah. Limitations only apply if you haven't come forward. True. It doesn't matter. He's he's in exile. Uh, he's running away um, and he should be brought to justice, even though the victim herself, who is now a full grown adult, I believe like she's like in her 50s at this point, does not hate him for it. But that doesn't fucking change the fact that it happened. It's fucking awful, and there should be some justice, okay? Yeah, he drugged and raped a 13-year-old girl and then fled to Paris. I cannot understand how anyone, how anyone in the right mind, no, how anyone in, the, uh, in their right mind would still, like, would still try to fucking defend this person. I don't understand it. But just because a bunch of fucking liberal dipshits on camera are, are, are clapping at the Oscars for the pianist, or... Orospu çocuğumuzun selam veriyorum iki saattir. Görmedim Cenk Hoca'nın amına korum ha. Orospu çocuğum, orospu çocuğum ne biçim laftır ediyorsun lan? Akıllı ol. Aklını alırım ha. Anyway. I can't believe that they're like, like yeah. It's insane to me that people are defending Roman Polanski. But what is also insane to me is that these dipshits on the right think that a clip of Whoopi Goldberg saying some dumb shit represents the entire ideology of the left. Anyway, very stupid, very stupid. And the only reason why he's doing this, the only reason why Owen Benjamin and a bunch of people on the right, on the far right, which is now seeping into like regular modern contemporary right, they're doing this because they want to fucking frame this as like everyone in Hollywood's a liberal pedophile. Are there pedophiles in Hollywood? Absolutely. fucking lutely Is everyone in Hollywood is liberal? Definitely not. Does pedophilia have anything to do with like leftist ideology? Of course not, dude. So stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the charade. The entire left loves pedophiles. Oops. Got him, boys. Got him. D again, just to, now that it's been like 15 to 20 minutes that I've started talking about this, Owen Benjamin, a person who was banned off of Twitter for directly targeting David Hogg and talking about his pubes and talking about his dick, a person who was banned off of a social media platform for like, for, for literally doing that, is out here talking about how the fucking left sexualizes children because whoopi goldberg is a is a dummy like very cool guys very it's just makes sense dude 13 year old girl at a party at jack nicholson's house that that uh that shaded right devil guy, guy. Yeah. who was whistling at this by the way uh, yeah. um, in the video but who's to judge right i mean that must fall into the gray area of consent but god forbid judge kavanaugh admit to consuming a beer and having a yearbook right mm. <laughs> no like again Roman Polanski came forward and uh, pleaded guilty. Brett Kavanaugh never even got the fucking trial. And instead, they just shit all over uh, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Very cool. Very cool that you're openly admitting to your hi that your, your hypocrisy here. Ironic. Um, uh, but I guess no one gives a shit because no one on the right fucking believes Dr. Ford. But very cool regardless for, for bringing this up, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Also, speaking of which, by the way, remember how everyone was like, why won't anyone think about, why won't anyone think about Brett Kavanaugh, you guys? Oh, my God. Why won't anyone think about him? Um, except, you know, he's totally fucking fine. And Dr. Ford has had to change locations. She has had to fucking literally change houses four times at this point. She hasn't been able to go back to her job. She is routinely harassed. She's, she's still being harassed every fucking day. Uh, I mean, there are, and also, if we're going to have, if we're going to look at, like, actual numbers on the board of, like, sex crimes committed by people on the left versus sex crimes committed by people on the right, I'm fairly certain that Republicans are knocking that shit out of the fucking park, dog. They are knocking that shit out of the park. We're not even talking about the fact that, like, an entire party apparatus got behind Roy Moore, who was credibly accused of being a fucking child molester, and, like, so much so that he literally was not allowed to go to a mall in a state that he became the Supreme Court justice of. He was not allowed to go to an entire fucking area. Like, he was blocked off from going to an entire area, Roy Moore. 
because everyone in the town and the police officers and people in positions of power knew that he just could not stop from from uh you know molesting children holy fuck dude holy fuck um beyond that you have uh republicans who routinely get caught with uh underage uh male prostitutes you have republicans constantly i mean let's look let's look at the republican sex scandals really quickly now these aren't fucking whoopi goldberg these are literally republican like politicians okay Huh. Okay. Let's take a look. Pat Meehan on April 2017, 2018, not that long ago, Republican Congressman Pat Meehan resigned due to months worth of misconduct allegations in January. The New York Times reported that he had used taxpayer money to pay off a former aide who had accused him of sexual harassment. Okay. That's one. That's like an easy one. George H.W. Bush was accused of sexual harassment in uh, October 27, um, October 2017, inappropriately touching actress Heather Lynn during a promotional event for Turn. That's fine. That's like not the fucking worst of the worst. Roy Moore, as we already discussed, Jeff Hoover resigned as speaker of the Kentucky House of Representatives after multiple sexual harassment allegations were made against him on November 2016. Jeff Cruz, in October 2017, Oregon State Senator Jeff Cruz was removed from all committee assignments after sexual harassment allegations were made by a fellow senators. Um, Jack Latvala. In November 2017, six women made sexual harassment allegations against Florida State Senator Jack Litvala. Wes Goodman, Ohio State Representative Wes, Gwid Wes Goodman, resigned from his position on November 14, 2017, after a non-staffer witnessed him and another adult male having consensual sexual relations inside of Goodman's office. Following his resignation, more allegations of sexual misconduct were made against Goodman, including sexually assaulting an 18-year-old man in 2015. Tony Cornish, in November 2017, Minnesota Rep. Tony Cornish was accused of sexual harassment by fellow state rep Aaron May Quaid and a female uh, lobbyist. Herman Cain, it is alleged that the hopeful Republican nominee for president sexually assaulted former subordinates when he was the head of the Restaurant Association. Up to three women have come forward surrounding the issues at hand, each with different uh, allegations of sexual nature. Um, Newt Gingrich, uh, he had an affair. I guess that's not that fucking bad. Um, there are rumors like where, where the fuck is the actual like Oklahoma guy? Holy shit. Mark Sanford had an affair with a woman in Argentina. I'm like pushing past all of the fucking affairs and shit. I don't really give a fuck uh, about the affairs. Um, people, all politicians are evil and they also beyond that, of course, have affairs all the fucking time. Larry Craig had a bathroom sex solic solicitation scandal. Um, David Witter was a part of the DC Madam scandal. Charles R. Boutin resigned from MD Public Service Commission after email exchanges with a prostitute surfaced. Uh, I don't have a problem with sex work. Again, uh, Bob Allen <laughs> solicited oral <laughs> solicited oral sex from a male undercover cop. Uh, <laughs> Mark Foley uh, was involved in a texting scandal with male house pages. Don Sherwood Sherwood uh, had an affair with a 29 year old woman while he was a Pennsylvania congressman. <laughs> Uh, you guys get the picture. Hold on. Uh, Rudy Giuliani uh, was uh, accused of uh, notorious adultery, um, by the way, by his ex-wife, Donna Hanover. And then he married his cousin. So there's that, too. Whew. Okay, where were we? Where the fuck were we, dude? Hold on. Hold on. I need to find the Oklahoma one because, like, Oklahoma Republican pedophile. Because that one was like, and, and there's like really, Hastert, I think, is the most famous one. Hold on. Yeah, there are, by the way, there are plenty of Democrats who have been accused of sexual misconduct as well. Obviously, one of the most high profile ones was Al Franken, who, um, who like, in a bit, uh, uh, like, he, I mean, he harassed. He, he fucking grabbed the boobs inappropriately of a, of a female comedian when he was on, um, when he was out and uh, whatever, like, uh, when they were doing a tour. Uh, you have Anthony Weiner, who's a huge dipshit. You have uh, Elliot Spitzer, who was soliciting sex from prostitutes, um, even though Elliot Spitzer is great, and I stand by him uh, as far as his politics goes. Um, I also have, um, like I said, I also have a uh, – Bernie isn't perfect. I don't know. I don't know about Bernie, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Former Oklahoma senator is a predator who gave victims nightmares. Um, he got caught 
uh, with a with an underage male prostitute um, and then had to resign. I think the Speaker of the House, like the longest standing Speaker of the House, uh, was it Dennis Hastert? Fuck, where is it? Was it? Yeah, Dennis Hastert had a, a massive sex abuse scandal. Um, he grabbed her Kevlar vest. Yeah, he grabbed her boobs in a photo while she was sleeping over a Kevlar vest. And then there was, like, some forced kissing or whatever. I'm not, like, playing it down. Al Franken is gone, and it's good. Good riddance. Who gives a fuck? Um, my point is that, like, look at uh, – oh, yeah, Dennis Hastert, the one, that, the, the one that I glanced by – is very important to talk about because he was literally the 51st speaker of the United States House of Representatives from 1999 to 2007, okay? And he represented the uh, the Illinois 14th Congressional District. He was the longest serving Republican speaker of the House in history and was the highest ranking politician in U.S. history to have ever served a prison sentence, okay? He fucked children. <sighs> and paid hush money. Um, so, you tell me what you think is worse. Actually, you know what? Let me get the let me get the details correctly about Dennis Hassard. On May 29, 2015, after Hassard was indicted for illicitly structuring financial transactions, two people briefed on the evidence from the case stated that individual A, the man whom Hassard was making payments, had been sexually abused by Hassard during Hassard's time as a teacher and a coach at Yorkwell High School, and that Hassard had paid $1.7 million out of the total $3.5 million in promise payment. On the same day, the Los Angeles Times reported that investigators had spoken with a second former student, not the person who was receiving the payments, who made similar allegations that corroborated that the first student said he admitted to sexual abuse during sentencing on unrelated crimes. So um, beyond that, you also have uh, Jim Jeffries, I think, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, I, or not Jim Jeffries. Holy shit. That's a comedian. Um, what's the fucking – what's the representative from uh, the Republican rep uh, – the Republican rep uh, Jim – who was uh, Jim Jordan, who was, uh, uh, who was a coach – or not a coach. He was the athletic director uh, at – hold on. I'm going to tell you right now exactly what happened with Jim Jordan. Um, but, yeah, uh, there was a massive scandal with Jim Jordan as uh, he uh, – like many people that were victims. Many victims came out and said that uh, Jim Jordan essentially was like Jerry Sandusky in that instance. I mean, not Jerry Sandusky. Sorry, Joe Paterno in that instance where he um, – uh, most likely not Jim Jeffries, sorry. Yeah, at Ohio State when he was the, um, um, yeah, a seventh former Ohio State University wrestler said Saturday that he believes Jim Jim Jordan, a representative from Ohio, knew about the inappropriate behavior that allegedly took place in the school's athletic department three decades ago as two more former team members came to Jordan's defense. So, anyway. So, like, this notion that, like, uh, oh, my God, the left is fucking, uh, you know, exploiting children or, like, sexualizing children because they teach them sex ed is really weird when you have an entire fucking repertoire, when you have this, like, binder full of people who have, like, had sex or have solicited to have sex with, like, underage male prostitutes on the Republican side. Very interesting. Very cool. Um, I, I don't know who uh, the real sex perverts are here, but... Uh, I would say that most politicians are perverts regardless, um, but uh, to, to claim that, like, the left is sexualizing children is just uh, – uh, it's just excellent. Excellent projection, sir. Excellent projection. Let's get back to the video. Let's just finish this up. Now, that's rape rape. I mean, that woman did lie about something from 40 years ago, but that little 13 – celebrities who have allegedly groomed and molested children, we call these people uh, an open secret. <laughs> Michael Jack – I agree. I, I, I don't agree with what he's about to say, but I agree with. All right. I'm going to push past the celebrity shit because it doesn't matter. Mm. This is one of my. Uh, all right. Let me just just keep hammering here. <laughs> another thing leftists have pushed is the idea that pedophilia is just another sexual orientation, like being gay or straight. Oh my gosh. Stop discrimination. It's time to be more tolerant of demons who feed on kids. Yeah. yeah. Let's be more inclusive of satanic predators. Like a while back, a bunch of leftist sites uh, like Salon and Vice did profiles on this non-offending pedophile named Todd Nickerson. I am a pedophile. 
I'm not a monster. I have the traction, but I don't act on it. Looks like a pedophile. He's the definition of a monster. Yeah. Daughter did that one. A friend's daughter did that one, and then a friend's daughter did that one. Seems like he likes friends' daughters. They're okay with that. Yeah. 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 Because they know I'm not. I am no danger to them. (laughs) Probably safer with me than they are with like you know a lot of (laughs) non-pedophiles. They're more safe. Okay. Um. First and foremost, uh. Like as a medical condition, this person is uh, like I mean the the be, even before we get to the pedophilia element here, okay? Because this is a really touchy subject. Um, what do you call it? This is a touchy subject. Trying to equate pedophilia to the LGBT community is not ne- not new, and it's, it was disgusting fucking forty years ago, and it's still fucking disgusting. Okay, uh, like it's really it's really such a such a transparent way to be bigoted. Um, but beyond that, um, the guy is a, the guy's a pedophile and saying like, um, you know, they're just as harsh against the church's sexual misconduct. Exactly. Sure. They are so harsh. They love talking about the church's misconduct. Um, except they don't. And they fucking, this is like part of the reason why they're like, well, you know, everyone's raping. Oh, the left does it all the time. So, uh, I mean, I guess it's like, why do you care when the church is doing it? And then like participating in like broad coverups, um, and spending millions and millions of dollars. Like, it's fucking insane, dude. <sighs> they're, they're safer with a no. rabid wolf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the idea being it's okay for him to want to bang kids as long as he doesn't actually bang kids. Uh. And of course, he never would. Wink, wink. <laughs> Except Nickerson posts he would have sex with kids if we just lived in a more sex-positive society. Sex-positive? What the hell does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. Todd Nickerson is the reason AR-15s yeah. exist. <laughs> Predators always want... Like, this is a this is an individual that that has a has a disorder right that he like he uh is sexually attracted to 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 children and um i don't know what the salon article did i guess they like covered it where they were like oh yeah um you know he's not like he he wants to have sex with children but he's not doing it i guess that was like the the coverage that they gave this person um his perspective is wrong and his perspective is bad and in the end of the day, like, uh, I mean, no one is going to be like, well, actually, uh, no, we do think that he's fine. Like, no one on the fucking left are, um, no, no one on the fucking, no one on the fucking left is like going, oh, you know, maybe if we were uh, more liberal about our understanding, we could, uh, we could allow child molestation to happen. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, who, who thinks this? To normalize, that's what they do. Ask yourself this: Would lions or would zebras benefit? Uh, from the removal of categories and stigma. <laughs> the lions would keep pushing for inclusivity and to be treated just like lions. Predators are discriminated. Don't use your cis prey privilege. And then once everyone's guard is down, the lions will just feast. You didn't have to go anywhere. Right there. That's, it, so is this like, is this the secret, like, is this the secret fucking leftist agenda? I love this. I love this that like, by the way, there are far more libertarians. Like, okay, liberals want, liberals want pedophilia, right? So why are so why are like actual Nazi Republicans like Patrick Little and a bunch of other like actual Nazis like Nazis who claim that they are Nazis who are also pro pedophilia running on the Republican ticket? Very strange. Again, very strange that like there is this I guess widespread acceptance movement uh, amongst the left, um, and yet and yet it just seems to me like it keeps occurring in Republican circles. It, it, it seems to me like actual fucking pro pedophilia candidates or even like right wing libertarians and like ANCAPs constantly, it's like a meme at this point, constantly talk about fucking the arbitrary restrictions around consent. Why are, are around, um, you know, consent laws and, and also um, consent, like as far as statutory rape goes. So the argument isn't whether pedophilia is acceptable as he's framing it. The argument is whether pedof- – yeah, exactly, exactly. The argument isn't the, – should, the, should pedophiles be institutionalized or should pedophiles get treatment? Should they be forcing the treatment or should they actually go out and, and, and uh, seek help or seek treatment? <coughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter beyond that. This is like a – this is something that is very difficult to fucking talk about even. Nathan Larson. Nathan Larson. Uh, Patrick Little wasn't a pedophile. He was just a regular Nazi. Let's see. Patrick Little was the, was Patrick Little the Nazi? Am I? (laughs) Worst Republicans running for office. I don't think it was Nathan Larson who like, uh... oh yeah, Nathan Larson is a pedophile. Okay. 
running for Congress in Virginia. Republicans running on decriminalize. Oh my God, I'm having such a hard time. Decriminalization of pedophilia. No, it's just Nathan Larson. Never mind. But yeah, beyond that, it was um, it wasn't Patrick Little. I apologize. I'm not just someone invested in psychology and don't appreciate people criminalizing mentally ill people. Yeah, I mean, Milo was. Um, yeah, Milo literally came out and, and was like talking about pedophilia in, um, in, uh, more understanding terms, I guess. Uh, and, uh, that was literally part of why he, uh, was taken down. Isn't that, among them. Isn't that so true though? It's like, don't judge me for being obviously a predator. Yeah. Number two. I can't believe this is all right. Transit. Uh, like this is, I think this we need like a throw up break for people. Like if you need to go throw up and come back. <laughs> yeah. I just need, like, I just need a Nickerson doll yeah, right punch in the face. Yeah, exactly. That. Transitioning kids. If it weren't enough to sexualize kids. I love that. I love that, like, we, we made the jump that, like, leftists are pedophiles. Um, the left wants to make, like, uh, like pedophilia normal and, like, liberalize sexuality so, you know, everyone can, like, fuck children. And then the leap, the mental leap, dude, the mental fucking leap from that point, which is completely incorrect to go to, uh, uh, to, to hormone therapy. Holy fuck, dude. Like, how can you, how can you sit there and be like in the same breath, basically in the same breath, turn around and be like this, these two things are all sexualizing children. The left now encourages them to make permanent irreversible changes to their bodies. Yay. This isn't some fringe leftist idea. Here's NBC pushing this on national television. Increasingly families are going public with what it means to be a transgender kid. That means you're being abused. By the way, first of all, let me just for, let me just say, um, <laughs> Let me just say that, that, yeah, like someone covering, someone covering uh, it, like a news story does not mean that they're advocating for it. OK, let's just make that let's just make that distinction very quickly. OK, um, I don't know enough about this sort of stuff. I've talked to I've talked to Izzy about it. Um, I've talked to Izzy about it. This is a field in which like. Ch uh, child psychologists or child psychiatrists are actually um, doing more, uh, conducting more studies on um, as far as like uh, gender reassignment or, or gender confirmation therapy, hormone therapy and accompanying uh, uh, things of that nature uh, before puberty and, and the results that it yields. This is something that like this is something that has been experimenting uh, that people are experimenting on currently. But by and large, the hysteria surrounding this exclusively from the right is purpose uh, uh, purposeful uh, conflations and misrepresentations, mischaracterizations of what this is, okay? Babies, or whatever the fuck they, uh, w whatever, like, the cool uh, hip term of re uh, referencing uh, children, is just a way to, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's just a way to fucking um, allow children, it's just one way to allow uh children uh to to figure out whatever gender they are on their own it's like it, it can be something as simple as literally allowing your fucking child to wear a dress if they want to um like i said it's it's allowing children to 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 dress whatever way they fucking want to or play with whatever fucking toys that they want to and then it extends all the way to using gender neutral pronouns now as a parent you can do whatever the fuck you want right like and and everyone has the right to criticize that some people think that this is like uh bad for the child's development i don't know why it would be to be like hey you get to choose your own gender i don't i personally don't understand why that's like a bad thing um but uh but to sit around and be like this is child abuse it's like no dude if your child wants to fucking play with legos if your daughter wants to play with like uh legos or whatever it's there you go like let him let him do that, um. I, but again, I I should state once again that I don't necessarily know 
what the uh, like how far this ranges towards. Um, and I definitely don't know. Um, like I said, I, I definitely don't know like what kind of hormone therapy uh, is uh, happens in this process. Yeah, exactly. Hey, five-year-old Jacob Lemay is fierce. He loves karate and dogs and chips and playing with his sisters. Why can't a, so why can't a regular girl like karate and dogs? You're the brother, right? They can. This is Are nonsense. Are you always the brother? I'm not always. What were you before? I'm their my sister. Oh. How come it changed? Um, because I wanted to be a boy. Okay. In the beginning, Mimi and Joe Lemay were raising three girls. <laughs> still, still are. When Mia was around two, she started saying, I'm a boy. All right. I mean, it's, it's, I have a two and a half year old son. Like, watching that stuff makes my blood literally boil. Yeah. All right. So, like, why? I don't understand. Why does that make you fucking, it's actually more traumatizing to force them to be something that they're not? Yeah, exactly. Like, why are you fucking, oh. I used to be wear dresses with my older sister. I never became trans, but my mom wasn't a progressive nut who wanted the trans kid to virtue signal about. Like, that's really damaged cortex. That's a lot of fucking. There's a lot of assumptions that you're making in that in that statement, just so you understand, right? Um, like it, the 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 underlying the underlying assumption that that like a parent who is allowing their child to uh, is giving their child space. Um, does a kid really know if they're trans? I don't know. I don't know what the fucking. I would have to refer back to like scientific research on this. I personally don't know, but pushing your child one way or the other. Um, to conform to gender norms that we have constructed socially is way more damaging. I know that for a fact is way more fucking damaging than, uh, you know, than, than, uh, anything else that you could literally do. It is absolutely fucking preposterous. That's a fucking hot take. What do you, yeah. Like it's, it's insane. I'm, I, I'm 100% certain that that mother that is allowing, uh, her, her child to, to choose her own gender is probably going to have a more. Uh, it's probably going to have a healthier child and healthier upbringing and provide a more comfortable home and a healthy upbringing that's understanding than fucking Owen Benjamin, dude. So two-year-olds are old and wise enough to make the decision to change gender. No wonder pedophile leftists think they can consent to sex. This is what it's all about. It's about no wonder pedophile leftists, dude. Okay. Okay, David's hog. How's David's penis doing, Owen? Are you, are you, are you past that now because he's, he's no longer 17, so you're not interested? Good one. Got him. Got him, boys. Consent. Yeah. Oh, and this hits extra home with me because I was at CAA. I had a, a book deal with a big publisher. I was at a sitcom, and Comedy Central specials, and all that stuff. And I called out a guy for doing this very thing on Twitter. And I know I've told this story before, but I don't want people to forget that this is real. A, fi a five-year-old was told he was a, a girl, and this guy was giving he was giving all this virtue for it. He said, oh, yeah. we're victims. And then when he said that he would potentially put him on hormone blockers, I just kept retweeting, like, are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing the madness? And the silence I got from all my shiny blue checkmark friends, mm. and then people wow. saying apologize or um, we have to let you go. And I literally went to do tree work for 20 bucks an hour with my brother after just being on a TV show. Cause I'm like, that will lose, you'll lose your soul doing that stuff. Yeah. Agreeing with it is, is just as bad. Well, it's not just as bad, but it's like, how can people stay silent? Yeah. Just yeah. mind blowing. The cost of agreeing to that. Is oh my God, dude. <clears throat> that hits home with me was the wrong progression from what that guy just said before. Oh my God. Oh Jesus Christ, dude. I wish I knew more about this thing. I wish I could fucking um, talk about this a little bit better. I mean, I can look at it right now. Do you guys have any more information on this? Like, can you, if you want to send something? Um, if you guys send me additional information on that specific case that he's referring to, I would love that. Um, but I feel you can carry the mantle with Steven going forward. I believe in you. Um, info on the specific instance that he's referring to where, uh, what's it called? Comedian loses Yukon gig after comments on transgender toddler. I moved to LA as a liberal, but left a conservative, but my views didn't change. And now he's been canceled by the university.
like, I'm looking at this Reddit thread, right? And, like, the first thing is, well, golly gee, who would have thunk that suggesting one should be careful with drugs on growing children would be such a controversial idea? We don't allow children to get tattoos, plastic surgery, booze, and guns either. How is, how is hormone blockers that can absolutely be reversed if the child decides that this wasn't right? Like, how is that the same as, like, making your child get a fucking irreversible plastic surgery? Or... Or, like, cause irreparable damage with a gun. Like, to even, like, kill a child with a gun. These drugs that are prescribed to children were developed for people suffering from prostate cancer. It's very often pa men pass. Okay, like, that doesn't change anything. Drugs can have different uses for uh, for different kinds of bodies. The, the prostate cancer drug that uh, they're referring to, I'm not entirely certain, but, um, uh, but like, you, I, I could use a prostate cancer fucking drug uh, at the age of 27 in order to ensure that my hair loss is, uh, you know, uh, mitigated. So, like, that doesn't fucking mean anything. Oh, this is so stupid. I'm not against that. I never claimed I was a girl. I just like doing girly things. But these parents want a trans kid, so they say, oh, my girl likes... No, you don't fucking know that. You're making an, uh, you're making an assumption that uh you're you're absolutely making an assumption there uh that these parents are are forcing this upon their children and not the fucking other way around dude that's so silly yeah there is a fda approved uh, hormone that you can use it's called um propecia for for balding it it's a block it's actually it's literally that it's a prostate cancer drug that uh, when people started taking it, realized that, like, um, for control for other factors, people started uh, growing their fucking hair out. These are the same people who pump their kids with antibiotics any chance they get, and those are devastating consequences. The same argument was made of parents forcing their kids to be gay. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's it, None of it is... It's not that it's reversible. It's that they prevent puberty. You can trigger puberty later. Yeah, Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, but beyond that, most kids know when they are young. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I really don't know. I, I've, I haven't had these thoughts, so I can't speak for children. Like, uh, I can only speak from my own personal experience. I don't agree with this, says Pringles 2020. All right, cool. Well, it's happening. You cannot agree with, like, the existence of trans people, but that doesn't change the reality that trans people still fucking exist. You know what I mean? Um, so... We have two options here. Either we can make their lives as comfortable as possible and, and accept them and welcome them with open arms into our society. And, uh, you know, that doesn't really take anything uh, away from you. Or we can continue to oppress trans folk and, and turn a blind eye when, you know, 26 black trans women are, are killed and, and they get fucking zero media coverage when they are, um, you know, when they're being targeted for hate crimes at insanely high rates. I feel like messing with kids' hormones is wrong anyways unless they need it for height or some. Okay, why? Why is that different? Why is messing with it for height any different or, or a condition any different? Unless you, like I said, I think a lot of this stems around the fact that, I think a lot of this stems from the fact that um, like we don't understand, uh, like we don't understand um, uh what it means to be trans at all like we have we don't have enough academic i guess we don't have enough a academic research around it I, I believe there is and 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 people are like looking into this that's the best i can say uh i really really am here for the thing is there's a difference between a a child at two saying repeatedly they're a different gender and mutilating their genitals and then hormone blockers are a must but if raised in a gender neutral household which i will do find their gender in young years and then they want a different gender i would be more hesitant only because hormone blockers from scientific pers let me ask you guys something, okay? And this is a serious question for everyone here. If, if you had, if, if we got to a point, if we got to a point, and yeah, the, the mutilating their genitals is really, uh, that's not exactly what's going on. Um, but if you had the opportunity, if your child was like, dad, mom, I think I'm a woman. I'm, I, I'm, I'm probably a woman. And if there was a, like literally one pill that you took, one pill, and then overnight, this person biologically became a woman, right? 
I mean, this child became a woman. And it was, it, it, and you could technically reverse it as well. If, if the child then turned around, yeah, if the child then turned around and decided, yeah, I, I do, I, this was wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. What would you do? Like, would you, would you say, no, fuck that. It, this goes against my perspective. This goes against my beliefs. Also, by the way, beyond that, it is incredibly difficult to, to it, the, like, this doesn't happen this easy, right? Like, it, this is not something that occurs like that. This is not something that uh, you just, like, kind of, uh, like, a two-year-old, this is not like a two-year-old fucking goes up to their parents and is, like, wearing a dress and says, I'm a woman now, and then their parents are like, all right, I guess you're a woman now. Like, there's extensive, there's therapy that goes uh, into this. There's, like, extensive research that goes into it. It's just, like, like we're not we're not looking at this we're not looking at this from a sane perspective at all and it's understandable somewhat and and as someone who's like as someone who's i guess um researched this a little bit more now at this point i've had i've held almost both sides of this uh i've held both sides like opinions on both sides of this argument um and my opinion has changed throughout the time i don't think that like I don't think that there's that big of an issue here. How you can feel the wrong, uh, like the wrong sex. I do not know what it's like to feel like a man or a woman. Yeah. Also, beyond that, like intersex children get their mutils, uh, the, I mean, get their genitals mutilated without the parents' consent in most instances as well, where the doctor assigns the the uh, the uh, birth at, I mean, the, the doctor assigns the gender at birth. So that shit is already happening. Um, again. Um, Lexer NQ, the suicide rates of those who have changed are high. Yes, there is a uh, there's high suicide rate uh, post surgery, but when controlled for other factors, for example, acceptability, like social acceptability, beyond that, that rate drops dramatically, from my understanding. And maybe I'm incorrect, but um, to my knowledge, um, uh, post post surgery, uh, in a lot of instances, if uh, like other societal factors, um, uh, greatly contribute to the rate of suicide there. And yes, please. All right, let's keep going. And the rate for the rate of suicide uh, for post-op trans is lower than pre-op. Okay, let's keep going. Is you, you literally lose your own instincts. You don't yeah. even trust yourself. That's what happens with a lot of self-hating behavior is because they literally hate themselves yeah. because they know what they've done and they know what they've agreed to. All right, can you remember what you thought when you were this age? See, this is, I, I think about myself. I, yeah, exactly. I thought I was a dinosaur. Imagine if extent, instead of- It's the same, dude. Being a dinosaur, thinking that you're a dinosaur is exactly the same as like thinking you're a woman or like believing that you are actually um, not the gender that you were assigned at birth identical guys identical anyway actual parents that i unfortunately I, I did and do have love you mom and dad now that i know that this exists uh extra love right, you mom yeah. and dad imagine if i had those dead eye sjw parents who used my childhood to virtue signal to their awful friends and they surgically added dinosaur scales that i could never remove in a fake <laughs> tail and then made me take hormone blockers so i never had any adult human characteristics oh my gosh you know, that, that, that's real that's essentially what's going on here 100 percent. Right? the dinosaur phase would pass and as i grew up i'd end Son, the thing is that most trans children grow out of it. They're not trans, dog. Gender dysphoria when you're a child is uh, perfectly acceptable. That's precisely why hormone blockers can can be uh, reversed, and you can have a later on in life uh, uh, adult, uh, like an adolescent puberty, basically, if you quote unquote grow out of it. And also, that doesn't mean that you're a fucking. That doesn't mean you're trans. That's that's what this is, okay? There you go. Like the the, the word that you're using is like you, you growing out of being trans is not a thing. Do you see what I'm saying?
enter a phase where instead I'd want to be a dead person because 40% of these kids uh, kill themselves. And before you say that's because of societal oppression, that's a higher suicide rate than prisoners in Auschwitz. Oh, kids want- 40% of kids kill themselves? That's not fucking true. He's using like, he's now using like all uh, like trans suicide statistics now. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I don't understand why you would do that. It, like, there's no such thing as like I'm virtue signaling. I want to get brownie points, so I'm gonna like force uh, hormone or like hormone therapy on my child. Is like such an idiotic notion, dude. It just to me, it just shows me that you may or may not do that. You know what I mean? Like. That's crazy. It's crazy. Like, who the fuck would do that? I want to make their parents happy. That, that's why this drives me insane, is these yeah. kids are like, how do I get love and acceptance from my parents? Yeah, exactly. And think about how easy it is uh, to victimize these children. Like, my son plays piano at two because I do. It, yeah. You know, I yeah. want to believe it's just God-given talent because he's good at it, but it's also he just wants to because I do. He yeah, builds yeah. things with Legos because I say good job. It's like these kids happen to have parents whose approval of them is, it rests on a chemistry experiment right. so they can claim victim status. There is no factual basis, okay? There is no factual basis for any of the claims that Owen Benjamin is making here where he is completely fucking, like, I don't know too much about this issue either, but, like, the fact that Owen Benjamin is saying, like, these kids are doing it for their fucking parents is so idiotic, dude. It's so idiotic, dude. It's just to be like, like, yeah, you're two-year-old, has the has the fucking wherewithal to not understand what gender he or she is, but has the wherewithal to understand and want your approval, and therefore like uh fucking uh, decide to like lie about being uh, a a woman or something. Crazy. At cocktail parties and get more social status and money on on the backs of their kids' futures. It's Who just the fuck is making money in social status, dude? This is what I mean. Like they always fucking throw this, dude. They always throw this out where it's like, oh, these people are doing it for social status. Is it like a fucking dope thing? Like I don't understand. Is this like widely accepted in in society? What what a, what an insane fucking statement, dude. What an insane statement that these people throw out all the fucking time. And you know why they do it? You know why? I speculate that they do it all the time, it's literally, it's literally because they do it for money. Like, it's so silly to hold all of these beliefs, okay? It's so silly to hold on to all of these beliefs as a conservative in this day and age. And the reason why, um, it, it, the reason why a lot of conservative pundits hold on to these beliefs, including like Ann Coulter, for example, who smokes weed, but then will go on a debate and say like, uh, uh, in front of Anna, uh, in front of Anna Kasparian and, and, and thousands of people say, uh, weed makes you, you know, the R word, um, smoking weed makes you, uh, mentally disabled or whatever. So like, um, but I know she fucking smokes weed. People that fucking hang out with her know she smokes weed, but she's getting paid to say that weed makes you retarded. Okay. Like that's sorry to use the, the ableist. Uh, yeah, yeah I know it's uh, the ableist slur there, but like literally they do it. It's all projection. They're doing it for money. So they fucking think that other people would do this for money as well. So stupid, dude. So stupid. Without a shred of evidence. It's insane. All right, and number one, and then I'll, I'll let you guys out of this horror show. <laughs> and I, this is real, and some of you guys won't want to believe it. This is all real. Child drag queens. Oh boy. A lot of progressive outlets have done profiles on on child drag queens. For example, here's 10-year-old drag queen Desmond. And in case you thought that was a one-off. Okay, let me just say something really quickly. I think child beauty pageants are fucking weird. They're wrong. I would love for them to not exist. And I don't know what the drag, the child drag queen thing is. I have no idea what that is. I personally think that fucking like dressing up or like, uh, or like putting uh, like this crazy amount of fucking uh, pageantry on, on children is a really weird thing, okay? I don't even like adult pageants. I definitely think, like, be, even before we talk about, like, child drag queens or whatever, that's my perspective, separate from whatever the fuck this idiot's about to say. Whole, but but even before that, okay? Even before we get to this. I, yeah, I think Dance Moms is fucking horrible, too. Um, okay, this is stupid. I used to dress up in dresses. Um, but 
Um, e e even before we get to that, okay? Even before we even talk about that, like covering an issue does not mean you are in support of this issue. I don't understand why people on the right cannot comprehend this basic fact about largely neutral news outlets that are reporting on things that are happening, okay? Like, there are certain things that I get upset that news outlets don't cover neutrally. For example, the puff pieces that the New York Times conducted on a bunch of fucking Nazis or the way Mother Jones covered Richard Spencer, the dapper Nazi, or, you know, the boy next door who turned out to be a Nazi. Like, these are things that are damaging, okay? But they're still covered in a fucking neutral perspective. So when outlets, when news outlets, when news outlets cover child drag queens, that doesn't fucking mean that they're like, oh, I love this shit. Like, and, and I don't know what the what news outlets he's referring to even. But just let's get that basic fact out there, especially because Owen Benjamin is currently covering the same fucking story. It's like saying Owen Benjamin also is, is in support of this. So stupid. There's also an eight-year-old drag queen named Lactatia. My name is Desmond, it's amazing. I see myself an LGBTQ activist, um, a drag kid. My motto is be yourself always, no matter what anyone says. That is a boy. That is a boy. That is a boy. I love this, dude. Owen oh, Benjamin is a comedian doing comedy, you dolt. Yeah, dude. He's not, though. He's, like, trying to fucking seriously cover this, uh, the way that, the top five ways that, like, left to sexualize kids. We've been looking at this for, like, 14 minutes, so shut the fuck up, okay? Like, um, I, I love this, like, veil where he's like, oh, he's just doing jokes, dude. He's just doing jokes. He's like, he literally said, I'm being serious. This is very real. This is disgusting. Before he started covering it. Obviously, it wasn't a fucking joke. Dustin has gotten a lot of well-deserved attention recently because A, he's really young, and B, because he's so fierce. I see him out of the closet when I was only three. Lactatia is the devious diva you could ever think of. Ah. Ah. I've been wearing like my sister's tutu since I was like threes and fours, even like twos, and I've been dancing around in like little pink dresses and stuff. So yeah, I think I've had lactation inside of me since I was born, and that's why I love that song, Born This Way. I just want our kids to express themselves oh, however they're they 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 respectful and they're nice people. We really don't care. Uh, oh, there it is, dude. There it is. The mom is like a fucking hipster, dude. Okay, here's what it is, okay? This is, I have no issue with this. Like, I don't, I don't have a fucking problem with this. I think this is less. This is less the, this is less weird than actual like fucking regular uh like regular uh, pageants that they do, okay? No, this is worse than regular pageant shows because I think regular pageant shows are are like they're they're weirdly like sexualizing children. This on the other hand is not. This is just drag culture. It has nothing to do with like it's a, it's a, if your boy wants to fucking put on makeup and if your boy wants to fucking wear dresses, he should be able to do that, okay? Like, they're just expressing themselves. It's it's a form of art, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? Just because you don't understand it does not necessarily mean that it's bad. I would say that regular fucking, like, cisgender, heteronormative uh, beauty pageants are way worse. Because it does actually sexualize. No, drag drag is not sexualizing, ragbang. No, I don't think, I don't think drag culture is inherently uh, sexualizing. It's, uh, it's about dressing up. And, and and putting on makeup it's more of an more of a uh, uh, of a like asexual not asexual but like it's more of it's more art than than sexualization so play devil's advocate even if they were wrong what would this jackass want yeah um that's another question it's like what do you want to do do you want to make it illegal like i don't understand your kid comes to you and wants to wear the clothes of the opposite sex then what do you do you, you fucking you just like you you hit them like what are you gonna do are you gonna fucking put them in uh uh like are you going to force them into getting like uh, like some fucking weird Christian therapy or whatever? Are you going to pray the gay away, dude? Even though um, you don't necessarily have to be gay to do drag. Um, at least the LGBTQ f isn't forcing their kids into fucking pseudo marriages. Their fathers like conservatives do with the purity balls and promise rings. Holy shit. That was aggressive. Ritter and Sophia. Uh, my man Jordan Peterson said that makeup is inherently sexual. Drag is self-expression rather than sexualizing your children. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand. Like, I know women do drag as well, for sure. Um, there's, I, I don't have a, I don't have as big as a problem with this as I do with like regular fucking uh, beauty pageants where they're like wearing uh, makeup 
and, and like and and fucking uh, uh, prancing around in, in bathing suits. I think that's weirder. That is that is much weirder to me at least. And like um, that is intent. Like that's intentionally sexualizing your child, versus like drag is supposed to be a performance. It's like all out there. Um, you just jumped off your consistency. What do you mean? Well, let's hear it. I don't understand. Christian theory, weird boy wearing makeup and a dress, not weird. Christian therapy, weird boy wearing a makeup and dress, not weird. How about both are equally weird? No, both aren't fucking equally weird, dude. I mean, it's my perspective. <laughs> like, I, from my perspective, it's not weird. It's not weird if a boy wants to wear makeup. Boys used to fucking wear makeup. Men used to wear makeup all the fucking time. Our standards have changed throughout time. This is like socially learned behavior that completely evolves throughout time, guys. Like, men used to wear dresses all the fucking time. Men used to wear pink and heels all the fucking time. Just because in the past, like, what, 40 years that our entire perspective has changed due to marketing and, and, and uh, some other forms of, like, socially learned behavior does not necessarily mean that this is the only reality that we can live in, okay? It's really fucking stupid, dude. It's really stupid to, to like, force these norms on people. I, I don't understand it. Um, but beyond that, I believe, you, I believe in you, Habidi. Kill the, carry the mantle forward. When the moms are like 700 pounds, what? Some people send their kids to conversion therapy for wearing the opposite gender's clothes. I think that's worse than letting them wear the clothes. 100%, dude. 100%. Good on you for saying child pageants are weird, but now you're just pandering if you think this is an equally weird. I'm not pandering. I genuinely think this. I don't have an issue with adult drag races. Adult drag races might come across as sexualized. Sure, there's an element of sexualization in adult drag races. I don't necessarily. I think drag is still more about performance rather than sexuality. That 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 uh, most or it's a it's an expression, right? Rather than like saying like, oh, when I'm in drag, I'm gonna go and like suck dicks. Do you see what I'm saying? Um. Uh, but beyond that, it's like it's no different than like playing a female role in a theater play when you're a child. You know what I mean? When you're a male child. Women in the past were unable to act in plays and men would do drag and portray women. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand why it's so wrong today. I totally do. I, I, I totally don't have a fucking problem with this as much as I, I think that it's like you have to find something sexy for it to be sexualized. No, I don't find the fucking uh, child pageants uh, sexy, but I think they are absolutely sexualized. Why would you think that this is sexualized, though? This is an this is a performance beyond that. Can you say the same about uh, about beauty pageants? I don't think so, but that's that's why I'm like that's why I'm holding on to this perspective. Wait, someone said because those men didn't think that they were actually women. What are you talking about? These kids don't think they're actually women either. Do you guys not understand what fucking drag is? Like, do you not do you not get that at all? Some of them might, but that's totally separate. Like. <laughs> Drag has nothing to do with drag is like drag is like essentially like cross dressing in the in the most simple term I can describe it. I'm so confused by this. And like, uh, and the overwhelming majority, especially like on RuPaul's Drag Race, and this was like a fucking problem, if I'm not mistaken. They RuPaul was like kind of transphobic and refused to have trans people originally on the show. And like RuPaul is a fucking is a cisgender gay man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, drag has nothing to do with like drag has nothing to do with like being trans. Yeah, but you're talking about trans kids now. No, the previous subject was talking about trans kids. Now we're talking about. Uh, now we're talking about drag races, which has nothing to do with like being trans. You can be trans and also want to do drag, but that doesn't necessarily mean that like you, you can be trans and want to be a drag king or a drag queen or whatever. But that doesn't mean that you're uh, you're you're trans when you do drag, dude. <laughs> that was the point. Drag isn't a performance. It's a performance designed to make fun of women. It came from blackface minstrel shows where the point was to make fun of black women, but eventually they did shows making fun of all women. Um, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, fuck RuPaul. My daughter was on 
Roblox has made multiple boy sock accounts pretending to be a boy. I asked her what she was doing, and she got embarrassed and was afraid of I'd be mad. I wasn't at all, but the point is, making kids, uh, making kids continue. Uh, the point I'm making is kids can genuinely feel this way and shouldn't be afraid of how their peers or parents would react. Yo, so many drag shows in LA and San Francisco literally have queens deep throating things on stage, still entertaining, but they're putting on a sexual show. Not saying all shows of queens do that, but I've seen plenty of leaning. Yeah, no, no, no. Like adult drag, uh, adult drag queens could have a sexual performance. That has nothing to do with like, um, uh, that 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 isn't what is uh, it's about in its entirety though. And also, these kids aren't fucking doing that. You know what I mean? Like this show is not about that at all. This is no different than like fucking wearing a stage, uh, wearing a, a dress and makeup on stage for a performance. That's literally what this is. Um, but beyond that, like I said, are we getting troll rated? Why? It's only in America that there's a great stigma against drag everywhere else. It's okay. Yeah, I fucking grew up in Turkey, guys. Okay, I grew up in Turkey. It's a it's a 98% Muslim country. Uh, and and we had multiple like we had so many like drag is a is a part of like fucking Turkish media. It's been a part of fucking Turkish media for decades. This happens all around the fucking planet. This happens in in a Japanese culture. This happens in other Far Eastern cultures in general. I mean, like, let's not even get into fucking Thailand because uh, in, in Thai culture, um, uh, like being trans is is a, a completely acceptable. Uh, but beyond that. Um, there are so many different cultures around the fucking world where this isn't even questioned, where this isn't like, uh, this isn't like something that is, uh, scary or terrifying and Americans who are supposed to be such like big, bad, tough guys are fucking terrified of their, um, yeah, uh, of their terror. They're terrified of their children inherent, like uh, th their children, uh, performing a form of art, <laughs> like uh, expressing themselves in this way. It has nothing to do with fucking sexuality. It's so silly. It, it has nothing to do with sex. Child pageants, on the other hand, are fucking weird, and I don't like that. Ha, Bülent Ersoy'dan bahsediyordum mi? Jansu, evet. Bülent Ersoy, or, I mean, I guess, um, what was the other guy? I, there was, a, there was Fatih uh, Yilmaz, uh, what the fuck, what were the, uh, what were the people? You know, you'll remember that better. And see if drag is more stigmatized there. Yes, let's go to Eastern Europe, South Asia, Middle East, Africa, South America. I said there are cultures in the Far East and even in the Middle East, including my culture, where drag queens are not stigmatized. That doesn't mean that drag queens are not stigmatized in other places around the planet, Ragbang. I'm simply stating that in other cultures, drag is a lar plays a large part of of uh, like of the media landscape there is definitely a, 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 a it's definitely accepted and it's definitely something that people see as a performance but it is shocking to me that in america where we're so big and bad and we're so fucking tough and 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 we're so understanding and so open-minded and we constantly fucking uh talk about how muslims are are are, are terrible and uh they are uh, you know they hate the lgbt community and blah blah blah, blah. Uh, and and yet we are like actively um fearful of You know, uh, we're actively fearful of of uh, children wanting to wear dresses and like putting on makeup. It's very weird to me. Uh, yeah, they want I'm everyone to make judgments here, but I'm like, what are the parents doing? In this well, case? there you go. You saw it right there. Right. Well, they don't want people to be lactatia intolerant. <laughs> Aggressors try to claim there's nothing sexual about child drag queens, that it's just plain dress up. But then they post a pic of lactatia wearing a onesie from a, an adult clothing store and holding a balloon that says eat a dick. Oh my gosh. That right there is the face of a society that's overly tolerant to monsters. Oh. That's the end result of the millions and millions of tiny little concessions that people make daily so they aren't called intolerant by people on Facebook or they get a little extra money. That is the result of not defending our kids. There's definitely nothing sexual about that. Eat a dick. Yeah. Yes. LGBTQAI is hungry for that pee. Ugh. Caitlyn Jenner playing dress up as an adult. LGBTQAI is hungry for that pee? Is one thing, but going after kids is another. Evil needs to snuff out good. And there's nothing more good than kids. Yep. This is a way to hide abuse in plain sight. Nothing, make these, nothing makes these people more excited than an entire society so frozen by the threat of getting a thumbs down on... <laughs> yeah, no, I know. If a child was holding up a fucking sign that said, fuck you, would Owen Benjamin also be like, wow, they're sexualizing children. They want children to fuck. 
It's so fucking silly, dude. It's so fucking silly. And beyond how silly it is, I can't believe, like, he's using such fucking... He's using terms like, this is evil, and we need to snuff out evil. Like, what is your suggestion, sir? What are you going to do? Go fucking kill the parents? Like... Also, yeah, Steven Crowder loves dressing up as a woman, but that's totally besides the point. On Facebook, that they accept the sexual exploitation of their own children. The left projects what it is that they're trying to do, and in this case, it's sexualizing mainstream America to accept pedophilia in order to have their way with children without any opposition. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. Sick. That's... Wow, that was fucking insane, dude. That was absolutely insane. What an insane, what a, what a fucking thrill ride that was. Holy shit. Whew. Yeah, um, Gay, Gay Hay uh, brought up that there was a bunch of uh, people on 4chan pretending to be SJWs on Twitter and trying to add a P to LGBT. Uh, IA for pedophiles. No one bought it, but they still bring it up like all the evil sign SGWs went with it. It's really stupid. I love that. I love that Owen Benjamin, just like his daddy Steven Crowder, originally failed as a comic and decided that he doesn't actually have to be a good comedian. If he becomes a Republican pundit. Good job, Owen. Fucking weirdo. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude.